All right, in this video, we're going to bring in the status bar. Now, notice that in the emulator, we do have a status bar here, but we have no control of it. So we can actually bring it in so that we have control of it. We can change the color, things like that. So up at the top here, uh, I have a, well, not in this file, that's the Android file. In the status bar component file, I just pasted in the boilerplate code, and we're going to bring in status bar. And then we're going to go down here into our view. And let's go ahead and put in status bar. Oh, not status bar component, just status bar. Okay, I'll close that off. And let's save that and see what that gives us. Okay, so notice that the color has changed. Now, when we do this, the emulator isn't going to, it's not going to add another status bar. It basically takes this one over. All right, and it turns black because that's the default. Now, if we want to change the color, we can simply say background color and let's set it to red. Actually, we'll set it to something better. Let's set it to steel blue. All right, so now you can see we have a blue status bar. We can also change um, the text. You see we have white text. We can say bar style. And right now I believe, I'm just going to put double quotes around this. Right now I believe it's um, light content like that. Yep. So we could also change it to dark content save it and now you can see that the text is now dark all right um, let's see what else we can hide it if we want by saying hidden so if we set hidden to true and we save it now we have no status bar all right but I'm gonna set that back to false Okay, we can also make it translucent and what this does is when it's set to false whatever content is is underneath in this case it's this text right here uh, right now it, it goes below it but if we set translucent to true it should set behind it so anything in our application will get set behind it all right so let's say translucent and we'll set that to true Okay, save that, and now you can't even see it, but this, that text is now behind the status bar. All right, I'm just going to set that back to false. Now, one thing you might want to do is um, when you're building an application, you may want different color status bars or different styles for different pages or different components. So what I would suggest doing is putting the uh, background color and maybe some of these other properties inside of your state and inside of your props so you can pass them in all right so for instance uh, we could say static um, we'll say default props and let's say we'll say bar color and let's say by default we want that set to um, sky blue. All right, and then in the state we'll pass in in the constructor our props, pass that in here, and then we'll say bar color and set that to this dot props dot bar color. All right, and then we'll add it down here. Actually, that would be this dot state. Okay, let's save that. And let's see, that's not sky blue. Maybe that's not a color. I thought it was. If we set it to steel blue. Huh. 
this dot state bar color this dot props bar color oh I just had to reload it like that all right so now if we were let's see let's go back let's go to index Android JS and now we could pass in bar color and let's say we want it to be red we could do that save it and let's reload it okay so now we have a red status bar so just an idea um, if you want you know different color status bars for different components and different pages all right so in the next video we're gonna take a look at the toolbar Android component uh, which is pretty cool we can put menu items we can put logos and all that so we'll take a look at that next